it's not very often that a water-based animal becomes the main topic of conversation around rugby, but today that is exactly the situation we have. Today's one-off water fixture will be the Sharks versus the Sharks, a battle of the Sharks, the Sail Sharks versus the Sail Sea Sharks. What's going on everyone and welcome back to your home of rugby in the one-off water series which pitches up the weirdest of concoctions at a rugby game that you could possibly think of. Today's matchup brought to you thanks to the request from Erin Is between the Sail Sharks and the Sail Sea Sharks. This is a matchup to determine which is obviously the better shark. And this is two very good teams as well. One out of England, obviously from Sale, and of course from South Africa, from Natal in Durban, the Sal Sea Sharks. These two sides are very, very accomplished as well. And you look through what the Sal Shark side has, it's pretty much an imported South African team already. You look, you've got Akabanda Murray there at Hooker. You look into the rest of the back line and the Ford pack. You've got John Luke Dupree. You've also got Robert Dupree. Plenty of impact from South African players. What I would like to look out from this South Shark side is the combination of Ben Curry at open side flank and Tom Curry on the blind side. Those two boys certainly are the future for not only English rugby, but certainly the South Sharks rugby side as well. In the backs, there's only my man to look out for. That's Manu Tuolangi. He can destroy teams. And it's going to be up to the defence on the other side to shut it down. And that falls to the former Wallaby, Ben Tapuai, wearing the number 12 jumper. They've got plenty of ability though as well. Look out for Avalili Fussy, wearing number 15 jumper. He is an excitement machine. And there is plenty to go around. This number 10 of Crow and Bosch still here with the Sharks. As always, it's a very good South African forward pack here at the Sharks with a couple of Venters again taking on the two Currys, six and seven. That is a battle, Curry and Curry versus Venter and Venter. And of course, the rest of the forward pack has plenty of power. Ox and Shay, we're in the number one jersey, of course, representing South Africa plenty of times himself. A lot of talent on the bench as well, if they are required the way the series has been running, even though the injury sliders are down, People are still getting broken, so you can expect to see some of these lads making their way on the field as this match wears down. Of course, you two can make your suggestion what you'd like to see here on the one-off one of series. Leave in the comment section below, and you never know, your match could be next. But for today, it's the Battle of the Sharks, and it's the South Sea Sharks who kick this one underway. Away from Bosch and fielded down inside the 22, and O'Flaherty looks for touch. And Sale escapes some early danger with their left winger putting a nice little nudge down the left hand side and it's a touch just sort of halfway. But a chance now for Kieran Van Vuren, who is a very accomplished player in the Sharks side to pitch his team up. Well, that's a shocking start. We give him all the props and he's throwing a not straight and straight to the hands of Ben Curry at the back in combination with Brother Tom. There's a kick over the top. Nicely placed as well. And the South Sea Sharks are in a lot of danger. Big tackle coming back. And Alphalele Fossi can do Fine. nothing more than place it in his own in goal. Set. Sale with the advantage. And a chance now to put points on the board. Ball fed in, waving at the feet of Jean-Luc Dupré. Short side, they go for Florida. Oh, that's sensational. So easy. Short side play and manipulated to its very best. Well, I'm not sure what Manus Pochito was doing down there defensively, but he was led for absolute dust. As the ball just spat back. Hopefully, fast you see him just on the left side. They all went infield. Pochito, the worst defender for sure. And nothing for the defense of Grant Williams to even get close. Great start for O'Flaherty. And it could become even better here off the tee. With Robert Dupre to slice over another couple of points. That's what he does. And he executes once again perfectly. Sale lead, Salsi. It is seven points to nil. At least one advantage. Sharks are winning. Back to Karen Walsh on halfway. His kickoff put his team in a good early position, but poor set piece play, which is. Very unlike a South African side has let them down on this occasion. As once again, it's O'Flaherty busting down the left hand side, leaves the dust of Alfredo Fossi, and Tom O'Flaherty will double his tally. Oh, he's something special. Is this O'Flaherty kid? All the work to do. And a very speedy defender chasing him down, and Fossi, but he could. 
could not touch him. Great combination there with Jean-Luc Dupree. And once O'Flaherty was in the clear, Fussy leading the chase. And Abraham's coming across as well from the opposite wing to lend a hand. Could do nothing short of guiding O'Flaherty away from the sticks. What a start this is for Sale. They're up, 12-0. Here's the kick from De Brea. 12 minutes gone, it's 14-0. Under heard of situations here for the Chelsea Sharks. They're not having a good night so far. They are being undone by a very good left winger, Tomo Flaherty, all over this game so far. Karen Bosch kicking off for the third time in about 12 minutes. Here is another counter tank. Curry gets the ball away. No, Flaherty in the middle of the park. is still somewhere he's used to being. They do get it back though. Here is Curry dummying and he's gone through again. He does step past Fossey and Curry down the left wing. It's going to be another try. Tom Curry out of nowhere. Big two defenders and puts it down for the third try. Unstoppable right now, I say. And the South Sea Sharks need to take a good hard look in the mirror because this is getting ugly. The dummy from Curry, then the step, and the pace to burn away from the cover defence. Ridiculous ability from a blindside flanker. Or any side flanker, to be fair, he is very versatile, very powerful. But we got a good little look there of his other abilities, the step, the dummy, and the acceleration to boot. 15 minutes in, it's about to become, you know it, 21 points to nil. The player with another two. And there's one way traffic, and there's a highway full of vehicles going one way. That's the Sail Sharks right now. It's not even close. They are dominating this fixture. Bosch once more kicks off. Taken nicely from Vodemarva. Picked up on the short side run. And once again, they cut through. The time is Ben Curry. He's going down the right side. And Ben Curry will go in. This is ridiculous from the Sail Sharks. They are unstoppable. 26-0. Curries are setting the world on fire. How? How does he have the pace to do this? Acceleration through, and then the dummy pass Fassi, who is a very fast player, but he just didn't have enough room, not enough time to catch up. The head start for Curry, Ben this time, was just too much, and this is an absolute blowout. We've seen close games all season and one off what if so far, but this one may be the first thrashing we've seen. It's the Sale Sharks 28, the South Sea Sharks nil. Four unanswered tries in 20 minutes. At this rate, it might be a hundred pointer. Let's see if they can keep it up. Sale to receive again off Carl Bosch. I don't think the South Sea Sharks have seen the ball for a very long time. Maybe since their first minute. Well, they stuffed up their line out. Now they're going through from Johnny Hill. McInside takes it to ground. It's a pick and go in the offload. The numbers out here on the right hand side again. Tolangi, we've not seen his name all night so far. He busts through two tackles. But take it down late. Desperate tackle, Abrahams. Sean Bourne, the try will be there. Curry's it again. Insanity. Sale Sharks, they are clearly a tear above the South Sea Sharks. Manu Tualangi, we've hardly said his name, maybe at the start a little bit. Overran his support there of Aaron Reid, but still managed to recycle it up to Ben Curry. This time he took on Fussy and he took him right out of the picture. Second try of the night for Ben Curry, third for the Currys, fifth for the Sale Sharks. Well, I've seen nothing like it, really haven't. A golfing class tonight. There's Robert to play it, chops over another two. Well, it's been all bad news for the South Sea Sharks. 
sixth time kicking off for Kerwin Bosch. He doesn't need any more practice. Dropped in short. Running hard at the Mr. Bria once more. Ball comes back. Oh, that's a high one. Bad to worse now. Gobler going around the head. Swinging arm. And it's just going to give another opportunity here for the Sail Sharks to put together another play. De Prea kicks the touch, 25 out from the line. Robert De Prea hasn't had to do much tonight. It's been all the forwards, let's be honest. The Currys have been outstanding. Half an hour gone, 35 points on the board for Sale. And now, Van der Merriman throws it's to the team. back and Currys the man is knocked on. It is knocked on. A mistake by the Sail Sharks, finally. Now, Williams has the ball. Can the South Sea Sharks do something back? It's looking good so far. The toy popping it up short for shape. And now it's only 22. Williams again. Picked up and driven backwards. But the referee says no advantage. And if anything, this is slowing down. Crouch. Fine. The stampede of sales Set. points right now. A little bit of possession for the South Sea Sharks. Williams sits it right at the feet, finds Bosch, gets the run of the ball for once, it does get it out to the left hand wing, Abraham's with the chance, oh it's Fussy, up with the line now for Lenny Fussy, chip over the top, he's wiped out, dangerous tackle from Luke James, 15 on 15. And what do they do now, the South Sea Sharks, touch, surely yes, two minutes to play till the break, and Bosch gets that one nicely, 15 out from the south line. Now they've got to get their set piece in order. Now they have to look to their forwards and the backs to make something work. That last set play from the scrum, very good. And the inclusion of Avalili Fassi in the back line was crucial. Oh, it's stolen the back. It'll find to the prayer and he'll kick this into touch to say enough is enough. 35 unanswered. First half points from the South Sharks has been the pinnacle of tonight's rugby and they head to half time with a big lead and a big lead on stats as well 80 20 on possession that is monstrous defense well it's been optional as you can tell just 17 tackles despite defending 80 percent of the ball there is a lot of work for the south sea sharks in the second 40 minutes the question is can they even get back in this game robert de Pere. Has it had to kick off gets so far tonight, and he does so for the first time, and Van Vera is the man. Release. Who picks it up off the kickoff, and Shane went for a little touch there, but he leaves it instead for Williams, who pretty much does a worse job than in Shane would have done anyway. Now they're gonna lose the ball. It's back for sale, and look out, here comes danger time. Torangi drops it off short. And into the fence goes Akavanamoba. And they rumble on the back of the hooker as well. Up towards that 22 metre line. Torangi waits for it. He's playing scrum half and he's running and dodging and weaving his way. Release. Into the 22. Pick and go again. Oh, so much space. So much room to run. And it will be a try to Jean-Luc Dupré. But let's be honest. Plenty of people in a red jumper could have scored that try. And a lot of them couldn't come out of the crowd. That's how much space there was in the South Sea Sharks defense. Ridiculously poor at regrouping. And Jean-Luc Duplair, the slowest man almost on the paddock, had an easy run, trundling his way in for the sixth try of the night. It has been an absolute demolition. Catastrophic from the South Sea Sharks. 40 points on the board. Make that 42 in just 47 minutes. What an outstanding performance from Sale. Things going bad to worse. The longer this game goes on, the worse things get for the South Sea Sharks. I've never seen a game like this before. Complete domination. From the Englishman, full of South Africans, let's be honest, so Flaherty down the wing, gets manhandled into touch. A little bit of good defence finally from the South Sea Sharks. He's in their position and it's inside 
the sale half as well. Now, they've lost both their line outs though so far. Van Vuren nails his man! They've got the ball! Williams to Bosch! Bosch runs the line, offloads beautifully! Now they're in a Venta! He's got an offload! Oh, he just couldn't get the pass away! Zappoi was right there! Here's the pick! Here's the win! It's Bosch inside ball of Van Vuren! He's not there either! Turnover, Sale! Advantage. Now a knock on by Sale! Picked up nicely! Advantage and over. the ball out wide! Try to be scored! Manus Bakita! Well, they got it there eventually! It was a long time coming! Full of mistakes! But this one almost got there with Bosch! Nice little inside ball! Hitting it hard, Van Buren, but he got turned over. Knocked on, great tackle from Inshake. And then a great heads up play to boot from Hiron Andrews. Hits the ball to Bokita. And finally, something to celebrate for the Cell Sea Sharks. Karen Bosch to get another couple of points for his team. Remarkably so, it is just over the 50 minute mark and we've had 49 total points and a 42 point to 7 scoreline unfortunate that the South Sea Sharks couldn't get their game together a bit earlier than this but Sale have been just class Van Buren once more another carry for the hooker Williams picks it up drops it short and then straight through again Ben Tupperway doing the good work and he dummies his way through the chase coming up for O'Flaherty does he have enough for 10 It's oh, a penalty! Just give a bit of credit there to Sam James for keeping it alive in contact. But a bit of challenge still here for the South Sea Sharks now going unsurprisingly for the corner. And that is a good kick too from Carol Walsh. Not of approval. And a performance that's been nothing short of disappointing for the South Sea Sharks tonight. A battle, they would love to have won. Oh, it's been stolen the back. Curry is ridiculous. He's done everything right so far tonight. It's a kick out, doesn't go very far. And now Bosch has the ball down the left. Beautiful offload, and Shay, and Shay going alone. And the 22 and he loses the ball. Well, it's been a story of the night for the South Sea Sharks. Not releasing. Poor ball retention, but another penalty. This time, off the hands of Tom Curry. Not releasing in the breakdown. It's winding down the clock, but they've got to go to the corner again, do the South Sea Sharks. Once more, it'll be about seven out from the line. Bosch trying to, well, I don't know if he's trying to wild up his teammates, but a, a forced high five there. He's certainly making the move, at least. Here's Van Buren. His line out have been, well, they've been shoddy. Nothing short. Hiron Andrews, oh, way to the back. And here's Bosch running hard the line, and then finally in again. Second try of the night, and I think that might be up from fullback, is it? Or oh, we got through the middle, it is Francois Venta. The outside centre, manipulating the play well, expecting to see Afalini Fussy hitting that line, but they leave it for Venta, and he works it very nicely. Here is Bosch taking it to the line, and straight through the outside of the defence. Second try of the night for the South Sea Sharks. A little bit anticlimactic. They've definitely dominated the latter portions of this game. But 42 points to a possible 14. And there it goes. Quite remarkable. 56 points tonight. Tries are plenty. But with just eight and a half minutes remaining, too little, too late. Far too late for the South Sea Sharks. It's a bit of second half performances from the likes of the try score of Venta. Let's see if they can grab a third, possibly before this one wraps up. 
Williams waits for it, drops it short. Oh, they're going deep this time. Now he is up for Lily Fassi. That's what we were expecting from the line out. Just six meters out from the line. Short one. And for a bit of space down there. There's nowhere to go. Williams again picks it up. Looks to offload it away. Chopping it back now. Keeping it all of the big boys. Close to the bank down in Shane. Takes that one to ground. Williams now oh, looking for a charging run from James Fenter. Doesn't come his way. Up is the toy. He gets it five minutes short of the halfway line. Williams gives it a bit of width now. Bosch gets it on the second phase. As they look to go wide, he goes Fenter. Finally, here goes out to Pockita. He's got one tonight. He's looking for another one. Looks for Fenter inside, but he can't get it. Tapple wise, the one instead. Fenter's everywhere. Curry's everywhere. Ben Burn. A bit of width and a bus. Sorry, Pockita. He's been outstanding. Oh, penalty sale. Oh, that was fast. Referee, maybe a little premature on that one. Because I saw some support from South Sea Sharks players very quickly in that ruck. But the referee will call it as he sees it, and that is the penalty to sale. Their line out's been very good. Vanamova, experienced campaigner, does his core roles well. As I say that, he loses it. South Sea Sharks have got it. Curran Bosch is running at the line. Oh, and then Dan Sion, a big chance now for Abrahams to run. It's three on one. They pass early. Tough away. Back to Abrahams. Into the 22 they go. Williams. Oh, that's a shocker. Release. They may well retain here. The toy. Say, oh, what a dummy. The big man's through. Wiped out, though. Just eight metres short. They keep the short side. Chipping it back towards Grant Williams. The toy again. Open side. Oh, and say! He's gonna go on alone! Oh, he should have hung on! Williams! Short side! Ben Murray changes direction! There's the tie! Ben Tapawai scores! Oh, what a second half it has been! Tries are plenty! But it's the former Wallaby who will get the final say in this one. Why oh why Inche pass that? I don't know. What a run from the loose head prop. Ridiculous skills. And then of course Kieran Van Buren with a great pass. Out to that midfield. Tapawai the try. And it's been a decent last 30 minutes here for the South Sea Sharks, but absolutely blown off the panic in the opening 50. They'll have the final say though, three late tries has brought them up to half of a South Sharks score. 42, 21, that is a 63 point game. Utter madness from these two Sharks. Aggression and pace and power. That's what they both showed, one more than the other, but an entertaining fixture from the two Sharks. It is sailed from the Premiership, they get the cookies tonight. They'll take the W and the South Sea Sharks, well they have plenty of work to do to get themselves back on their feet if we see them again during this series. It was three tries for the Currys, two to Ben, one to Tom, two for O'Flaherty early on, and of course, to Blair picking one up as well. Tapuai, Venter and Bokita, which Venter was Francois Venter as well to get the try. Heaps of Venters, heaps of Currys, and of course the kickers were both flawless. Second half evened up a lot. Remember it was position 80-20 at the halftime break. Well, certainly turned that around a lot in the second 40. But a poor first half has been the downfall for the South Sea Sharks as the South Sharks have romped home with a big win. 42-21 over the South Sea Sharks. That is it from me today for this one-off, one-off requested matchup. Big thanks for everyone who's put in requests so far. We've got a good little poll to get us started if you want to add yours to the list. Leave it in the comment section below and we will put it on there and get it up here as soon as possible. You never know, it could well be the next match we actually play out. I'll see you all for the next one. Until then though, big thanks for advising matches and of course stopping by and checking out the videos as well. Until next time though, thanks for watching and take care.